Five seconds remaining. Dire team, Dan. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Mars TV. Dota 2 we are in the lower bracket final, and it's come down to this. Game number three. Going against OG here, and one team is get the grace to move on and face up against Noob in the grand final. Will it be AG with a red or will it be OG? Our answer will be coming within the next 30 to 80 minutes. So, <laughs> depending on what kind of draft we'll see before us here. Let's see. That's game ten. That's game three. Your tournament life. Where do you pull out of now? I want to guarantee a win. Some people are like, well, they thought it was OD last game. That was OD. Oh, but OD. we, it looked like it based on the start of the draft, they were prepared for it. Okay? Yeah, it looked like all the OD and I'm like, okay, go deep, drow, we're good. Don't worry, but it, oh, Oracle, whatever. And it looked like they guessed right, or they were. Oracle, uh, I think they overrated. I think Shadow Demon's like a much better all-around support for Oracle. It's just like way too much single but the single target stuff as a, as a support. Because they offer too much. If your cores aren't strong, there's no point in picking an Oracle like that. That game he had to use some self steal or just to make him even look somewhat okay in the game. And we will see another OG game the where we're going to get the better right off the bat. S4 Classic. Every freaking game you see. And why not? Yeah, why not though? I mean, the guy plays a good bat rider, right? You know, and even the last game, that was one of his more toughest trials in the online. Uh, yep. He up in your face, but he, he withstood. He came out, and he still found the best of those. S4 has been tested, and that will be retested. And EG are going to file into a Kunkka. Will we see a Shadow Demon pair with it? Or are they going to go with something else? We'll have to see. OG have continued, though, to spend the Wisp every game. I don't fall for that. In the last meeting in the group stage, EG had it all three games. And they're doing it. They are going to pick Shadow Demon. Double, even by me. So I'm sure OG might have been prepared for it. And they go right to Naga. Oh, Lord. A non game for games to be been. Be good versus the Kunkka. I still don't think it has to be a core. I know they like to run it on their a lot, but. I think support Naga is going to rise a lot in stock. Um, now that Kunko is still falling off, like some of the other support we've seen in this most recent pack. And overall, just a nice setup hero. There's so many options that you have open when you song, song set up. And they've already committed now, DG, with their two supports. So they don't have the luxury, like. OG at least attempted to have with picking up something like Lion, let's say. So I don't know if that means they have to. They probably have to at least look at it in some of their other options now. Yeah, way to deal with the Naga, regardless of core support. Uh, the OG gaming can be a problem if you're falling into that type of game, and more than not, it seems like we do. We're in these 70, 80, 80 minute games, and they're crammed inside their own base crying. Could be anti mage again. I wouldn't be that surprised if you went for AM. It is plausible. I don't know. They haven't seemed to like incorporate RTZ very well into the lineup. It kind of seems like uh, I don't. I don't know. The, the chemistry just hasn't quite been there yet. Are you? Would you say it still seems RTZ's best position mid lane? Or is it's it just, the chemistry. It's just it's not where like, he is? It's easy to see. It's like, oh, they're, it's the yeah, room, but you don't know what the issue is. Sports are well around him. Maybe he's not adjusting all the rules. Maybe he's not being the support. Like a lot of things, but it's clear that it's, it, it just seems that something's a little bit off about uh, in his position inside the team. Could be a lot of things. A lot of things just. We gotta remember all aspects of it. This is the, the first real LAN of a lot of these new rosters. These teams have pretty much a lot of really bad scrim practice experience coming into this. So now you're in like a winter bracket final and you're laughing now for it, but. The stake cry, and this is when your team really gets tested. And you think all those different things. Is it RTZ back at the core position? Oh, we're so silly and we're in love. Um, is it RTZ being at the core position? Unfamiliar with being there without having that hard fight for the PPD. Where's our PPD? I mean, you have Crit and Zai, 
both been really strong, formidable four positions, but who really knows? It could be a factor of all those things, other things, whatever it may be. You need to find what their game is here. Because they're going to be tested as the Naga comes out. Second phase, eat get rid of the Elder Titan and the Keeper of the Law. Man, wow. Morphling would have been all good for Ichi. Oh, very, works very well with the Titan. Very good against that Rider and the Naga. Yeah. Regardless of whether or not it's a core. Cool... Oh, and they're going to get rid of oh. Yeah, okay. uh, this is gonna be a uh, hmm. Outside of those options, I mean, we've seen Arteezy on a Slark Blade. and Terrorblade and maybe Ursa, I think, for the game. I think Luna's fine too, actually. Yeah, Luna's also still out there. A very good pairing uh, with Shadow Dimension. And good too. I think, like, the one of Luna's worst weaknesses is that she's just, like, super fragile if it jumped on Kunkka Boat. I mean, there's gotta be something, though, to be careful about, like, the Illusions Eclipse. Being sucked uh, up by the. I think he'll look at the timing of Luna's way earlier than Naga Siren. You can start pushing T1, T3, like very on, and Siege T3 is very early. And, uh, constant spam illusions is not really uh, going to be that effective versus the creeps, too. I think Luna's like, really, it, in theory, it's decent because you can end the game early and put down towers very early. But uh, even late, I think she matches up well. You just do so much damage that like, the illusions don't matter. She's really weak for the strong. Uh, get, uh, think, of course, like, I think it's like, you up on Luna with your Ecuador and God's Luna is going to collapse. But versus, uh, there's like Naga Siren. There it comes to where you spawn in the ocean. Like, he actually sees like, Luna because PL just spawns a lose way too fast for her to clear. But Naga is kind of in the middle of like, her illusions aren't strong enough and her single, uh, like her single hero herself is not strong. But a lot of this depends on uh, not actually being a good okay. okay. uh, Thank God it worked out. Now, we have to pay. now we're going to be quiet for two minutes. <laughs> it's it's important to all go in. It's like second base in China. Good for him. Oh, poor thing is very embarrassed. He's just not a loot fan. But it's gonna have to work here for EG. I was actually considering if they were sweating out their option for universe here and off because Naga oh, limits dear, those yo. options severely. You don't, don't sweat out you don't, you don't sweat out universe's position. That's like the I mean, player at least worry about. Well, I mean even ban out even zero. I don't, I don't really need to. They they don't have to put the hit in it because like they do really uh but you're not sweating it. You might consider it, but you're not sweating like Beastmaster I think is very good. Good with the Luna, good in high ground, good against Bat Rider. Like, good luck at Naga Terrence. Like, you can always fall back on something like the Beast or the Axe, even if you so decide. So it's like, eh, whatever. No, then that Fly Witch comes out. <laughs> Beast Master's totally countered. They need Iron on <laughs> So what? So, there's always something you can do with Beast Master, that's the thing. Poor stream was lagging a bit, though. We'll look we'll back to it if it behaves a bit more, but you're just. Only really missing out on EG's faces here. As we go back to play, they have been working all the way through their clock on this one. And it looks like they're going to go back to what looks like the Honest Storm Spirit. I think that's a sign up push. Like, as soon as you see Storm Spirit, I think you just like, okay, this is going to game. Kind of like you did each last game. What about picking the Storm into a Kunkka? Ooh. Okay, that I forgot. A double hard counter right now. So. Now you have an X assassin and a Kunga. Or the and, uh, and Bat Rider, too. Oh, no. Walking over to the Firefly. Yeah. Many ways for an X assassin to be able to kind of shut down the Bat Rider tracks. Very good at Naga Siren Fifth Core. Five Solid grab. Yeah. It is. It is indeed. Not when we get to see Universe play very often. He plays it, but I have to admit. Simel like, plays it, too. I've got it. That. Mid lane yeah, assassin. His actually uh, surprisingly. Too. Oh my! Could they? Do that? Would they do that? Would they do that right now? Three. Put a nexus in the middle against the storm. It's plausible. That is going to be the next choice here by OG. Looks more like the Naga Saturn core than with the dazzle. Very strong flame. And very. I think you're good against the next assassin too. But the so heal bomb is incredibly good taking down remaining. single heroes. Five seconds. And we have to look here. Final bands to be coming out. EG have their what is suspected to be universe slash superhero left. Uh, while on the side of RG, 
I have to look at the close out with her. One, five, or sorry, a position grab for Jarek. Hmm. Scared of the Huskar. And they don't even really have, no, they have, I guess, but. No, we don't see not Huskar really on the same team too often. But I right, guess it would be an odd pairing. But if, I mean, I guess if Huskar is chaos, a lot of himself, is not going to do her business. Until, she, until the Huskers eat the <laughs> well, they would be, they would, they would, they would be an ugly uh, part in the case. If they eat the Huskar. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, we'll know for sure. Final ban is a timber saw. So. I think we'll go back to, uh, the answer. Like, the sound or something. So a couple of teams run. Very good versus Shadow Demon. Like, Ten it's very good versus Nexus. Yeah, you have to do Hawk Global and none of the heroes can use their difficult death. Because the Luna, like, dead to rest. Like, you're not going to be able to counter initiate the battle or the storm. I like it a lot, but I don't know if it's something that they do very often. And so he's go now. So we'll, we'll know in a moment if this is going to be enough. Until game, and it looks like it will. Five grab is going to Jarek's Earth Spirit here. I mean, of course, always has the valid tools you'd like for it to have here. I think it reaches out to me that, like they need their Spirit of the Dragon but hey, you got Earth Spirit on the same team. Tremendous initiations, disengages, good hectic team fight there. I mean, they had pretty much no real. It makes the middle Earth lane is their it makes the middle lane a lot more difficult too. G Storm plus Earth here, like very strong versus a, a melee like Nyx. So if they were thinking about running Nyx mid, they probably have to throw in the off lane. Now. They're gonna grab an Alchemist at the end. It's gonna be an Alchemist for the Naga game. Oh my! Alchemist ramps up very quickly. Oh yeah. I don't think it's like a. It's not a race. Like it's it's definitely it's a race. It I mean, a race. it's a race, but race for Alchemist has got a pretty good head start typically, and they give them like super nice track shoes for free. I don't know, <laughs> but obviously means the switch up to be there. It's an intended switch up or not? Universe on the Nyx Assassin now, and uh, we'll have to see if things are gonna work out. Earth Spirit can still get the jump and cause a bit of chaos on someone like Alk in the mid lane. Uh, it's not like he already has his ultimate and can shrug off the damage. Yeah, I think Zai's going to have to sit there in the early game. Zai's definitely going to have to be hanging around a bit. Uh, but, which, of course, means that he can't be the extra force to kind of pull back the rider. And we'll just have to see what kind of implications are going to be caused because of the extra attendance to the mid lane. As we get underway, it's game number three, the final match between EG and OG. Winner to move on and fix new. The grand final loser to 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 go home, leave China. That's kind of pretty much winning. It is winning too, except when you leave China, you leave a bit richer. You might not have the money at that point though, but you'll leave with brain rights and probably a cool trophy. Probably a reaver, right? I want to say that the trophy is a reaver. Battle fury. Battle fury. Whatever. I don't know. The T.I. Sure probably, the yeah. Major probably owns Reaver. Whoa, 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 okay. whoa! Okay, EG taking a page out of the Secrets book. They do the five-man movement right down mid lane, and the cross pass. Stun comes out on the back of the Disruption play onto Onyx. Can they get the finish? They can. And here we go, folks. Game three action underway. Jarek seeing the brunt of the damage. Hides and retreats, but the Glazers are going to be coming through, and they're going to get that kill. Also, good torrent connects with the S4. A follow-up secondary stun is going to be there onto two, as another one's going to get dropped. It makes it three all day from OG. They're also going to be looking for no tail. Will they actually somehow make it four before yep. one set mark? Yes, they will. Time it out nice. That's the into a into a stun and EG are here to play in game three. Five to zero. Man. Oh As my god. As Horn goes out. Where's the good luck have fun? <laughs> Disgusting. They thought they could take the fight because we was pretty strong at level one. And they're gonna have the one No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but the Oh my god, the acid spray plus the Luna Glaze did so much damage that fight. I don't think I've ever seen a five zero wipe at the start. Zero wipe at the start. That is crazy. That was crazy. That was some nice stuns by Universe. Mid okay, we never seen this before. Let's try to theory craft. What is this going to? Is this the difference in length? Of course it is. I was zero. I'm at all level one right now. One. 
I mean, that's a big deal when you're talking about a violent. Look, team, it gave us the opportunity to recover from the power peak that each of them already got to themselves. Right? And they show and their huge aggressive lane here in the bottom. They get another kill on the fly. They take out his ward. And yeah. G just come They hit hard. It's like one of those things like in the fight. Okay, shake hands. Oh, they kicked him in the face and said, We're ready to fight. Yeah, it's got type kick to kick off. <laughs> <laughs> He's well, really looking to just take the initiative in game three, and then my god, we have 6 0 already. And uh, we'll have to see if no he can shake it off. Oh, in trouble again, bottom lane. RTT spins up with a loose team that leads to an under torrent, and they just swarm around him. He makes his own little illusion sprint and tries to walk out. RTT is dominating now. He is 4 0 2 on the Luna. One and a half minutes. So, up, Ben? Sounds like the dream. They had a really nice court. It, it looked like a straightforward on the Nogla. They did a lot of cool things. Actually, they threw some beams to the torrent as the boot could get in position to torrent right there to the extraction. It also stopped her from a mirror, which would have bought her some time to. Uh, they need to identify which one was to disrupt and then after loosen beam again so that he could mirror image but they got so much damage on her before it was actually able to split and now g are just kind of even in all the benefits from the crazy start to this one now it does not feel like two minutes, 20 seconds in. no it does not there's and a things that all the data shows that it's not that early in the game there's a like storm can easily like get a get a hit kill rune and rune uh, flame like there's a lot of things that happen but yeah, 7 0 is. <laughs> it's not a joke. Not at all here. It could just prove to be a bit more fried for people like uh, Jerry's Earth Spirit. It was just hope to have a hot start. <laughs> like two bounty rooms for an alchemist. Like one chicken kill. Oh, that was fun. Jerry oh. just kicks Universe to the low ground. Both forces run up and around, but the problem is. They have Zai waiting in the wings, and he's gonna pop him off with a torrent. He's gonna down, and they don't stop there. There's the end. There's the pullback, and they have the torrent where S4 is gonna be walking out from. It's just one of those games. Oh, where it's just one of those right. games. Like, what is this? We thought that Tiki was gonna like just snowball eat the way to victory last game. So, yeah, that we were clearly mistaken about that. But this is uh, one of the most one-sided early start to the pro game I've done, for sure. But, based on the amount of kills going the way of EG. On everything. Kills are not everything. Not defense of the scoreboard. <laughs> defense of deaths. Yeah, this is... What we'll have to see, though, is Sumail going to be, uh... Pepper out some shots here. He's only about a little under a level away from where Ana currently is. But I mean that. Wait, is Zai is not going to be slow? He's been all over every lane up to this point. And it looks like he's going to continue that trick here. Getting down to the middle. But. Well, how has Artizi been? Getting all the ridiculous kills. It looks like he has the Helm of Iron Will. And, uh,. Now kind of just controls the whole mid lane. Uh, and Zoe's making moves in that mid lane. Connecting with Torrent and just casually picks up with a little bit of a DD. Ah, uh, smoke, to be fair. Alright, casual walk was near a smoke, yes. Yeah. Where's Jerax going? He's pulling it far away from the town. Yeah, but I mean, he might, he might, he probably could yeah, die. He might need that. that rolling boulder soon, is the problem. But, looks like trouble's not coming yet. Zai's watched that area, but he's not decided to move forward yet. It's a level 4 from a 5 minutes in, who's been pretty much in every lane already. And he he's stood there to buck. <laughs> oh, sick. So. S4 gets back to his lane, and then I returns to his mid lane post, but it can certainly be sure that OG were not expecting to have a start like this. As now Jarvis needs to find a new home to kind of be able to make uh, any sort of early game impression. OG are just curious whether they're going to be able to... It's really been a lot on Zai here. Okay, King's out, mid lane. 
And then I thought I was getting ready to kind of pull the trigger for that one, but... No, it still hasn't died in it. This is good for them. Yeah, no, it's still just casually farming bottom lane. I mean, the respect between both sides of Aga and Luna here. Look at the CS, though. CS is very high. 25 CS. It's 25 good. is high, but, you know, 41 is higher. Yeah, but is he, you're comparing him to the Luna. I don't know 31. And Luna... Close to a little stick. No. Universe oh. under reward. Uh oh. Well, smash that is gonna be up. Jared cursing that mighty frog slowing down kick. Not gonna be the connection, but get the next teammate. They connect all because of it. And you're gonna have to pull off the way, so. Where was the pullback? On X. I think that's science, sir. Oh, he did? Okay. Uh, the grip caught three of them. Hmm. I only saw it caught, catch a couple. And that meant that uh, EG were not going to be able to fall with any sort of response to play. Sumo's now the top, going to be working through the jungle here. There's no pre-made stacks, so there were stacks he already took down. Uh, but he is not going to be deterred a bit, and RT has swapped spots. He's got up top lane now, working between the lane and jungle. This means Universe can go back to the off lane. He's already at his own level six. Always came up a bit short and set up the lane, but has it up now if they want to get sort of new approach. Yeah, it was important for our team to move. The Luna's still very vulnerable despite being up 10 kills. They can still die to a storm. Of storm one level six is up. So putting him in a safe lane just makes much less likely that he's gonna die. And a hero that has much better defense. Uh, spells such as Nyx to chill down there. All right, Jerix blocks one, but two different camps now. Knowing and recognizing that she's moved into. Kind of from it on up. They're looking to nerf down farming potential quite a bit. So we will get rid of all those resources. But it looks cool as have just kind of stepped away from the lane to the side of EG. It's allows no tail to kind of take over the bottom lane and he will get the bulk seriously on Naga here. They've been wrapping around on the spear though. They need some way to actually get him with the stun though. Uh, there's some range there, but that's too risky. Ana is very deep under the tower, and I'm not sure if that's a couple spot. RTZ walks in for Jared, be able to get the rolling boulder off before it could be blocked. Universe going through, I uh, has has been that is way too short of duration. So OG haven't been uh, caught since the ridiculous early. And EG have been kind of content with that early initiative and kind of just decided to think down to farm up until level 6 is, a, a, I'm sure, are in order here. As we're about 9 minutes in, Tomes are going to be out here. We can see, uh, you know, Crick is level 6 now, and Zuck closer to the uh, oh, to work with. And Purge and all that good stuff. Let's see how much action they can go for. Alright, X is going to get canceled out. Not the good. Powerful jump <laughs> to be able to avoid the jewel in the pullback. You're very nice. Tight and deep. So we may get for a kill on our TZ. There's no lapso this four, but Derek now has level six and now has magnetized. Oh, but at the same moment, he could be bait. He's here now. Zine. No boat though. So that's gonna be the method that's committed. There's gonna be the boulder smash. Eclipse is gonna get fired. Jerex needs a lot of the damage, but he lives on, so now he gets bored. He's gonna start chunking down the stones. He gets a new one refreshed onto Arteezy. That could be enough. Zai is gonna get finished off, but oh no, he lives. He even boats himself, just to be safe. Keeps him fine. Arteezy's also good. They will take down Jerex, but that was a nice close. Nice call from EG. It seemed like they act, they called it a Kunka, but if Kunka hadn't TP when he did, they that would have been a, a much more sticky situation. Giver strikes in the mid lane, and it will allow him to get the takedown. Tried to lead it in with the Carapace stun off. Didn't get that one, but Dang. was able to connect with the stun instead. And when are they going to get a kill, zero. dude? I don't know. Who's going to get the kill for it? At this point in the game, you'd think it'd be Earth Spirit, you know, getting kills in the landing phase, but yeah, that is that is not going to happen now. Derek's already skipped over that point and is already in his magnetized state. And even those opportunities are falling short, so I guess you're making on either your Storm of Spirit beginning to just ball forward, or S4 somehow finishing off the funding for his blink deck. He's getting there. He's getting there. He's got about like a 1400, but 
You're going to be sharing the jungle with No Tails Naga, who is still working towards the Sacred Relic. Look who already has his ring. It's done! Oh man, that's right. It is an Alchemist. Eleven minutes. Uh, that's even with skipping the Soul Ring. He's too. got a solid too. All the good stuff here. Looks like this is for No Tail. You see, probably have the support duo of EPA. Makes it in trouble. And now G are not going to feel good about moving into the jungle. There's to the north though, for TD, if you freeze back up, he's dead. Uh, oh, he has come here, chasing for Ana. There's the rest of the team, Bolt Smash is not going to be able to connect, now losing the roll on Boulder. Pops out the Dragonetize, I don't know how many he's going to have left while they're able to then quickly take out the... That is going to be crippling to OG. And Magnetizer not, they continue to move on in, and they're going to quickly execute Ana, looking for stun on the Jerks. Right click to be there, ready as Burn is on, and some four are going to get wiped. They will lose Artiz there at the end. But he can come out with a huge power fight. I think that's four for OG. Went for two of the kills. Was it after his death, though? I think it was before before two of them. Yeah, he they, the Rum was wearing off and they were all standing under Firefly and they all burned. Well, OG gets the kills here. It's not going to make as much of a as they're going to be hoping for. Things aren't all things, things aren't bad. All things. If you click me behind the first alchemist, I mean, if they can get a kill on the alchemist, then I like. And they actually have to really get a lasso on him. They pull back under the tower. Bozo flies through from Sadai, which certainly will help out. That, along with the uh, ultimate there for your owl, it's going to be very, very hard to bring him down. And they will be able to pull them all back out after the Ulton. With all the he's actually brought down to pretty much none of his life. So he will survive. Tower won't get denied, though, from OG. They'll lose out on that goal, but... I mean, just... The Alchemist is certainly one of the best out kind of a games you could ask for at this point. Look at it. The net worth above everyone else. Easily done. Not though. She's very close to her relic. Bottom tower is under gold. They've been able to farm this camp constantly. They had a reserve reward over there, EG did, but they couldn't do anything about it for the entirety of the duration. It's gonna be tough. I mean, it'll always be the fact that if they can get the Alk down, it's gonna be such an nice way but look at that spatty stack, though. Whew. Ancient stack up there, but top lane, destruction on for SR. There's gonna be the purge, and suddenly a roll of Jarek is gonna make the move. He gets the two man sun connection, then falls up with the mass eyes. He already knows that crit's gonna be gone, so he's made the move for Universe next. And that should lead to his takedown, and suddenly OG have been able to string together five kills in the past minute. And they're not gonna be following up with a tier one takedown, neither. Free funds going their way. The recovery from the rough start. And that is, that's Jarex just doing his Earth Spirit thing. You know, I love his connection. He's already spotted out Universe, and he makes the Boulder Smash count as he connects from both of them. Both of those subtle kind of differences you see in the different Earth Spirit players. They'll get it done. Roche, though, is going to be the trade as EG will grab that one up. And as you were pointing out just before that fight is a big, big old stack here is also going to be taken. And it looks like it'll go the way of Arteezy. So we got two Kegels saved up. And this will get him to his next item that much more. What do you think it could be? Manta? You think a BKB is already going to be necessary when you're going against both spirits? The Naga Song? Yeah, he doesn't really build BKBs as early in general. No. I think he might go a little bit greeting just go to Yasha. He has the agent though, but he doesn't, definitely doesn't need BKB at this very moment. I think Yasha, even Butterfly Rush is sometimes like very, very good. He farms so good with the Butterfly. And it gives you move speed too, so you're not losing out on that much by not getting a Yasha. But I think Yasha is just safe, standard, not build Manta later to help Siege along with your army of illusions from Shadow Demon. Well, for now, Arteezy will hold on to his 3600 gold and we'll wait to see if uh, Eagle Song or something else does instead to get picked up. Or the Yasha straight out looks to be the case. It's en route now, so. Let's call on that. No, it's all very close to, uh, close to his radiant stuff. Just needs one more minute of, of alone time, of me time, me and creeps. I'd imagine that this time EG do have a better method in dealing with the Nox Siren, though. You got Kunkka to help a bit. Spray. Luna's really all right. Good. Luna's, Luna's just, like... just stupendous. Yeah. 
So even though they're gonna get this Naga into uh, Naga mode here, it's not good. Luna's already in Luna mode. Yeah, right. The Asha going and now mid lane is crashing onto the two. We keep eyes in mid lane because that's where OG have been perched up, but EG are not hanging around that area too much longer. They've already headed back down. Get that chicken snipe! Get that chicken. No, they're not even going to get it. They were anticipating that, I guess, EG were walking back down the lane. The creeps are right there. Yeah. Been very awkward. And OG have invested in even these very deep wards to scout it out, but EG have been in this bottom lane finishing out this tier 2. It looks like they'll grab it up. OG continue to wait, man. They are perched, and they are hoping that someone's going to cross their way. Wow, Universe. That game He's is very the... close. Jeez. But just walk by as if there's not a care in the world. Surely by now EG are like, okay, OG, you're missing. But uh, it looks like they'll be able to get the vision now. That move is very common. You smoke onto like the north side of that T1, and then you place a couple of wards, and you just kind of perch there and take vision of uh, the opponent's jungle. It's it's a very good move when you're behind or when you're ahead, it's just when you want control of the map. But too too often the observer ward is placed in between the mid T1 and T2 and it's dewarded. This time they've opted for uh, observer wards outside of the T1 and outside of the T2 to ensure that they stay up. They really need good vision so they can get easy picks with the Bat Rider and the Storm Spirit. But EG is giving them no opportunity to yeah. gather it up around the Luna with the Aegis. That phase of blinking Bat Rider and jumping Storm has for now been just totally put on hold. Like, yeah. It's just not a thing. Alchemist is <laughs> Alchemist is he's the thing. Fat. Alchemist is the thing and he's the center of attention in this game. And then just behind him will be Arteezy and then the Naga, but it's all Sumail right now that needs to be worried about. And if OG are gonna be putting a lot of their focus onto him, you know, they'll be in Earth Awakening. He's not going to be easy to take down. You have Shadow Demon Disruption, you have Kokobo. Not going to be an easy time, but EG are on the approach here, and only about 18 minutes in, they're looking to do some work into the high ground on the back of Arteezy with his Aegis. Disrupt them! I think they've gotten a lot more minutes than how they disrupted them, but maybe he wanted them to save it for uh, Chris a more saving it for a, uh, Yeah, he's like saving it for a save or something. Okay, there he goes. Disruption on the Minta of the Alchemist, and suddenly Alks are just running around everywhere. Yeah, but no damage on the T3. Yeah, that was a waste. I think they could have gotten a lot more structural damage done there. Yeah, maybe it just a feeling a bit easy with committing on anything. Uh, didn't want to risk. I mean, I don't know. I guess OG have the song. If they wanted to kind of make any sort of out base defense. And EG were just focused a bit too much on where their positioning was and what could have been a problem. and didn't really focus too much on moving They're forward with their objective. Smoke. They they scanned where our spirit is right now, and then it pinged red, so they were expecting a smoke through the Radiant Ancients to their top side, and that's why they're just waiting right there. But they're wrong about the smoke. He was just dropping wards. Now they're moving to the north side. They think it's taken them too long if they were smoke to go through the south. So now they're, they're taking that a long way. But now the smoke timing's passed. They could feel at ease. Yeah, EG begin to crawl their way up here. OG uh, know that they still have this tier 1, and EG are going to be looking for it, so OG could be setting up here. And it looks like it will. On is also on the scene. All of OG coming to attend to this one. This could be a big definitive fight. is going to make the move, but the Carapace is there from Universe, and Insta shuts him down. Oh, the power of the Nyx. Yeah. It really shows itself there, man. Universe so fast on the trigger with that one. Wonderfully done, and just as fast as he dies, the whole G's like, okay, we're done here. And they pull out of that top lane, and they're like, yeah, that's it. That, oh, what a counter initiation. That was just exactly why you get a Nyx against a Bat Rider. Really cannot say anything else about it. And now EG are going to feel pretty good not worrying about the lasso. They'll take the Tier 1, and they'll begin to go to work here on the Tier 2. And suddenly, OG, 20 minutes in, are going to be left without any outer hours. Not what you want to hope for, especially if you've got a Naga lineup. But they will do what they can to cheese the way through these side lanes in the meantime. Oh, Crit's dead, by the way. They get a good jump and a good splat right there. <laughs> and he gets caught out. I think it's gem time for each. They've taken out all the towers. Now they just need to continue uh, farming while not getting picked off. And it's best to do that when the opponents have no vision. 
Could be it. I don't know. Unless EG want to go very, very safe and wait for the gem and wait for the Roche. Oh, I think you just get the gem. You don't have to like push. You just need to take down the rewards so you don't get free picks like that. The only reason Crit is there is because they have vision of him and he knows that. He just doesn't have enough gold at the moment or perhaps wants to finish up his Glimmer Cape. Make sure this game doesn't go south. The EG are making some new stacks that they are protecting from Naga's illusions and still holding on to OG's woods here. And as we all know, obviously that really means that the support staff of OG are not going to be blessed with any sort of farm here moving forward as Naga's pretty much going to take up all the bread scraps that are left. It's a shame. I mean, they're saving up a lot of money by 1,800 gold. Uh, could probably just be going for the Blink Dagger, but when you know the game is going to be this this fast, uh, just get an Ag, I guess. <laughs> Kick the oh. this into your fountain. Hope for that. Uh-oh, looks like Zai has come across Ana here. Is trying his best to pull him back. Gets him with the Torrent. Boat will fly through. And when this stall things out long enough for Universe to show up, it will. Jumps in, Carp is stunned, two-man stunned. And uh, they're persistent, man. They want to get tied down. They commit the magnetized support. They will be able to get the grab. Now, and so with the follow-up, goes for crit. Gets that too, but now the cores are coming out. And that is when OG needed the call. And that's going to be the song retreat. And we'll have to settle with just taking down a couple of supports. But it cost them the, the song, pretty much all of Ana's mana. A uh, lasso, a magnetize. Totally worth. Storm has his bloodstone there. They fight too. So picked up a couple free charges. Got their get, get a jail free card with the Naga Siren. And they didn't even lose anyone. Yeah, I mean, with the first take from the crit, he's got three charges to pick up. He's got 15 now. And we saw what kind of use he was able to make out of a <laughs> decently charged bloodstone in the previous game. He so. still has to watch out for Nyx, though. And Nyx can easily get pulled and axe this game by the Alchemist. So Ooh. it's a, even more devastating, perhaps, than a normal Nyx first storm. They game. have found Dazzle! Oh! A value Dazzle kill with a plus 12 on <laughs> the greed. Man. Value. <laughs> <laughs> And that happened so fast, it could have been just any other alchemist creep, but... Poor Dazzle will have to wait it out 20 seconds before he can join his teams once again. EG now. Arteezy went for Link again? Hmm. Oh, on a Luna, huh? Yeah, scared of that. It's fine, I guess, suppose. I mean, Link means one item will be useless for the fight. <laughs> and they're gonna make the jump already for Ana, who happened to be out the front door. They get a good stun, but... That and the Purge are not going to be enough to stop Ana in his tracks. He'll be able to bounce back it away. We'll have to fill up a bit, but Arnie needs to go to work. Sieging away at the Tier 3. OG. Tournament lobby defended up another stun on S4 as he makes the last of play. Plus, they got disruption. Here comes the bow, and it's going to annihilate S4. EG. Shrug off the assault from OG. Uh, he is so fast with those stuns. Like, Universe just... Like, not only is Nyx a good hero the Bat Rider, like, he is so incredibly fast at countering S4's first moves. I mean, obviously, Universe is a Bat player himself. I'm sure you read these situations and you'd be like, well, Bob's the Bat. This would look like a good time to jump in. I don't know, maybe he just has it ready to go. The Link has also really helped because he stunned where the or the Bat Rider lasso or blinked into the lasso. Normally you'd have to force that something, you can just escape the impale. But because of the Lincolns, he has to force staff the Luna, so you pop the Lincoln and then lasso, but then you can't escape back to your team coach room. That's why he was able to get off that impale. And now we have EG with an ace here, and all the confidence they could ask for here, riding back the coattails of a near 23k net worth alchemist. That is 10k just about 10k above where both the Luna and the Naga are. Here comes EG. And uh, OG put in a serious hurt. They're playing a safe start this for game. Buying time. They need their counter initiator just in oh, case yeah, that gets a good one off. Oh, yeah, they do. That's one of best. That's one of OG's best chances, really. It's S4 getting a wonderful hog tie pull back into the base. Here's Arteezy though, back into the high ground, this time with that Aegis. And begins to chop away. Torrent almost catches on, on the jump in. Arteezy eats a lot of shots, but is still going to be holding his extra life. Oh, S4. 
Waiting around on the back end of his Firefly. Sumail's in next to out that tier 3. Bolus actions are there. Universe's jump is going to be a stun for Jerex. S4 could look for the opening, but his Firefly is now concluded. Jerex is going to have to get a Shallow Grave this alive, and now no tail. Pulls out the song. Throws out the illusions, but not going to be doing a whole lot on the offensive. Now on him. Making the jump in. Looking to go for crit. Jumps out. Avoids the stun. Jumps back in, but this time can't avoid too much. There's going to be the grave to save. The pullback, though, has to jump out for a third time to make it away from trouble. And then the Dazzle is going to be eating the Warpath as the Eclipse flies forward. They almost get the burst onto No Tail, onto Ana, but they will just be forced instead to go back inside the fountain where it's safe. While EG begin to go to work on the racks. They see s and they quickly take them out. He's going to be forced to fly back now. OG will stay alive in the tournament with Ana coming in. Get the pullback crit. Can't get the finish yet. Gets knocked in the head with the loose beam and will go down. 15 seconds left. Thanks to that stone. Well, you called it. You said it was going to be a race, and EGR sprinting across the finish line as they clean up the remnants of OG's base, and they have a little fight left in them. S4 just oh, man, that, that has been the story. Every jump in by S4 is quickly answered by EG, and that is going to lead to take it down. Nope, it's going to get dropped. He's going to have to find them here all on his. Final Harava defense is going to be forced grave and back to bout once again. As Sumail shows up, he is just going to get shredded apart. Sumail, the man, the beast, rushes him and patrols, guides him to back to the bout. Look at the kickback from Jerex. Cute little play there. We'll get down into the ground. But when you see the base of OG, you are heartbroken now. As they have lost two sets of racks and they can't get on the way out. They're looking to go for crit. He gets off the disruption, but Ana is not done yet. He makes the full commission, and they will be able to take the Shadow Demon now. It is a hard hit to the champion for OG. It's very cloud strategy throughout the turn. Like, we constantly saw, like, the uh, first couple by EG, and then a counter, and then now we see, like, OG falling behind him in time again on the Nogger. And in this game, they're like, you guys want to farm? Okay. <laughs> Farm. <laughs> miss that offside. And just farm faster. And crack down at 27 minutes. We'll faster, faster. Get your radiance, but it's not gonna. I have oh, radiance. Yeah, I'll have what's this, this, and this. Yeah. Our team over there has this and this, and life's well and on the blue side of things. And of course, good played. Implement the items. Yeah, of course. I mean. Now there's a bit of pause before EG are ramping up for either finishing this one out or OG ramping for sort of comeback play. I think first, first eight or ten kills or whatever actually mattered in the picture. Pretty, pretty picture. Sizable. You think pretty sizable? Well, I think they have uh, 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 you have a pretty big window for the box. Like Naga's like at least 20 and then now Alchemist free farming will get like radius in between like nine and like maybe like ten or twelve, minutes. and then you can push with your plus five to like, fill like in transition in between radiance bots Manta. So you have like a good ten minutes. I think the early ten kills extend that window at, like a good five six minutes, which is like fifty sixty percent more than normal. Just yeah, a very large thing in Dota. Just say, like Roshan. Uh, for the like, I just actually have items in case like there's a slight, slight step in uh, uh, the greed on Kunga is a really big deal this game. And on top of the greed, really different Kunga build than we've seen really anywhere else. I mean, it's all about getting like normal fighter build for others, like you know, getting the aether level. That's because they, but this they one, need to yeah. push. And another day he went for Tidebringer. This gets only one Tidebringer, which I think is a nice attempt to support their strategy. Akiva, just a wonderful hero. He's turned one of the best supports in the game with all the ridiculous pulls he brings to the table. They don't have enough damage. But they had another game that, like, to do a lot scaling. It's just like too slow to ramp up, and there's too many items on EG. And then, like, the speeder's like kind of spread damage as is like the battle. Oh, oh no. just spotted as four rolls right Not over dead. his Firefly with the Carapace and takes him down. OG are just on the prowl in hopes of catch anyone farming. They end up losing a life themselves. Look at his, though, as soon as he gets that kill, he just gets back 
and he doesn't look like up to one with his Yules, he's just like, okay, I'm going to heal and just end him right now because they can. Alright, batter out for 28 seconds. Dire as you scan, something is up over there too. He didn't walk in! Ooh. Uh, he's right on edge of scan. I mean, scan minimap AoE, that <laughs> Yeah, Jarek's not going to be split up by that one, and EG seemed to kind of head and re map. And now look up the far blow, the final set of racks and a trip to move the grand final in a rematch against Newbie. And let this OG stop him. Will he close this one out? Here comes the song, and this could defense OG. No, it's looking to lead off. He's in the back looking for the support staff here. It's not any sort of blade movement. And now it's still Nartizi on a track. They are going to be able to take down Trent in the back inside, but that hasn't stopped the cores yet. S4 is going to get the grab. It's on Arteezy. There's the pull all the way in. Arteezy pops up the Eclipse and his BKB, and then rushes on back and through the boat. Coming up from Zai. Keeps up time and well. Now look at these fire pressure. Step back in zone with the power. Now moving in. It's also square up. And that is it. EGR going to get back. And look here, just gonna take the support kit. And that's it. He don't take the tier 3 for They're looking for more. There's gonna be the grab. Kapana, he gets the jump off. Does he have enough man to make it back inside the base? Yes, he does. And get the focus. That's it. For the first time, they're gonna clear out the tier 3. But that was OG's thought. And I don't, I don't think they have a. A bigger trap card than they're willing to pull out the. Nah, they had. I was sleeping to a, uh, like, a kick to do the spirit, but there's a BKB on the Luna. There is a lot of items out right now. Even a perfectly executed combo like that is not gonna put them ahead the edge of the foot. Alright, they get a quick call on the crit, and they actually spot out easy to go for, but get who is there once again, and you first to quickly shut down S4 as he's done all this game. Oh, oh, no, with a great save, we'll be able to make it. As ball lighting up into trees, up oh, or fly though. Poor fly was spotted, and Universe, man, he had. He's been a serious bully this game. He has, and like. But the Yoles now is just the super easy to kill the storm spirit. Absolute terror. To S4 in particular. Um, I think maybe even a bad ready like be you no, know, he's just you have to be versus the next assassin. There's just no other way to play around the character pace. Before this could really be it, the final raw with the tier three down and the Rax is exposed at just lift. This has certainly got to be it. If OG can't hold, this game is over. Jumping from Ana quickly is up. So over the back end. This is gonna be good for OG. The boat flies shortly after it's so, over. Ana's in, but he can F. He gets pulled right back into the so under the Mix and rids all the illusions and look over for Jarex now. But Jarex is gonna get the grade. The rest of so bullying and pushing back the rest of the team. This was the first to be dropped. The Rax has gone down the Mega World in EG. Well, it looks like they've done it and they're going to be squared up against the in the Grand Final. EG, ridiculous series. Got to give props to both teams that swung for it. OG, you know, fall back to the Naga once in game three. And he will be for it. Match the Farp by Naga. Put it on steroids. Alchemist. Yeah. Nick's grab as a counter to the bat.